Hi, it's Angela from North Carolina and a little turtle. I looked out my window and saw it running along and got my dogs in and now it froze. There has to be a bigger one because I saw a, like a mother, but I can't find it. This looks more like the baby. This would not have caught my eye from inside the house. It's okay, honey. Don't you love their heads? They look like such ancient creatures. Almost like, I'm sorry, I've hurt my knee. Like they're part dinosaur. Aren't they precious? I love a turtle. Do you want me to leave you alone? So you can go find your mama? Huh? Oh. I want to show you something. What not to ever plant in your flower gardens. About... 13 years ago, 10 years ago, this was called the Nanny Memorial Flower Garden. My mother-in-law had died, and she'd been a master gardener. And we had brought, like, one of every plant that she had here. We had hostas she'd paid $100 for and award-winning irises. So everything was just gorgeous. And then this idiot that's making this video decided to buy one little gallon of prairie grass. Well, do you see the, this is a seed pod. And when it dries, millions, come here, what do you see? Millions of little seeds blow all over the yard. Would you believe I didn't even plant the prairie grass here? It was somewhere else in the yard. And then about 20 years ago, I had bought, stopped at an abandoned house and for some stupid reason brought this home don't buy this either what it's taken over acres of azaleas and killed everything in the yard but i wanted to show you this it's about played out but we're going to get in here this weekend and try to save the ones that haven't been overgrown by the um uh ow ow the, um, I'm so sorry, my, my knee's killing me. They haven't been overgrown by the prairie grass. Okay, this is a really cool hummingbird plant. It's getting ready to have lots of blooms. That's why we've got to get in here and save it. A deer's been eating on it right there. But you'll see these are little tubers. Now, these have been sucked dry. But when they first pop out, you'll see hummingbirds, they tell their friends to come. And they are able to bring their entire beak, and it fits all the way into the tuber. Their beak disappears while they're beating their wings, and they're so happy. But it's, I'm going to find the name of it, and I'll let you know. But look at this. This was hostas and ground covers, and we had these big stones that we got from an old house that was being torn down by their swimming pool. You can't even see them in there. So we've got our work cut out for us, and my husband and I are going to get on our boots, and when I can start digging again with my bad knee, we're going to attack. But have a great day, everybody. Try to stay cool. Oh, my gosh. My 100-year century plant is blooming. Oh, my gosh. It's on a corner of the yard that you don't see very often. Oh, this came from down in Louisiana, where my father's family was from. And this was his great-great-grandmother's plant. And it's called a century plant, but it blooms once every 10 years. And my friend Beverly Black just had hers bloom up in Tennessee. I don't know what took mine so long. Oh, I'm so excited. Whenever it blooms, I think of my dad. What a great day. I love it. And it's, I caught it when the blooms are just perfect. So I'm 5'2", and let me see. I would say that this is about nine or 10 feet tall. A real yucca that you see in normal gardens doesn't look like this. Isn't it something? Well, thanks for watching. Bye-bye, everybody.